Hi, I'm Andrew Malik, Partner and Managing Director at O'Keefe. The Consumer Confidence Index measures consumers' attitudes toward jobs and the economy. In September, the index rose in part due to falling gas prices, suggesting consumers are optimistic about the economy. But this cannot be the case. The United States is experiencing the highest inflation that we have experienced in over 40 years, making it more expensive for consumers to purchase goods and putting strains on household budgets. The Federal Reserve has increased interest rates and has promised to increase interest rates to combat inflation, which has raised the cost of borrowing to purchase those already more expensive goods. The stock market has fallen over 20% this year. The price of homes has fallen in July, the first time since January of 2019, and consumer good companies are no longer able to pass along the price increases to consumers without experiencing a decrease in demand. The rise in the Consumer Confidence Index should not be viewed as a rosy outlook on the economy. To the contrary, the other economic indicators suggest that we are falling into a recession if we're not in a recession already. For more information about our services at O'Keefe, please visit our website at O'KeefeLLC.com. Thanks for watching.